Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. Happy birthday. And I hope you guys enjoyed your long weekend. Okay, now, Virg, let's get right into your reading. Now, I pulled two cards for the person who's thinking about you mostly. And the first card I pulled was the Six of Cups. Now, we are in the shadow period of the Mercury retrograde. So, I'm definitely getting a lot of reconciliation energy, Virg. Somebody's been thinking about you, especially like how you guys used to be or the connection you guys used to have. And with justice here, Libra and energy, this person feels like reconciliation or at least like reaching out to you in some way is the right thing to do. Okay, because with the full card, I feel like I'm definitely, Berg, I'm getting a very heavy energy that someone left the connection. Okay, and this person doesn't want that. Let's see. Let's get your overall energy. And then I'm going to pull their energy. Okay, five of cups. Definitely somebody from the past. I know some of you guys are like, no, but it's giving yes, Virg. It's giving yes. Okay, we have the knight of cups, six of swords, ace of wands, the moon, and the death card, bottom deck, page of pentacles. Okay. So, Virg, I feel like in the recent past, all right, something could be significant about the month of May. It does not have to be. But you see here with the five of cups, right? And this person or you felt like you were mourning over something from the past. Like, you know what? Let me just get over that. Let me move the hell on. But Virg, it looks like you tried your best to do that. Like, I feel like you really got this person's energy off of you. You even looked behind you at these other two cups here, okay? And got on your horse and rode off into the sunset. Because Virg, I feel like you want something more sincere. You could have even started dating someone new. But even with them, Virg, you kind of... You kind of felt like they had a lot of baggage with them. And I feel like even after that, you're like, nah, I need something different. Okay, so it's giving, you tried to get over your egg. Somebody knew it wasn't working out. And now we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so I'm feeling like Virg, there's a part of you that's starting to sense or feel that this person is missing you. All right, especially with the Moon card here. There's a repression of emotions. So I feel like sometimes your emotions might come up out of nowhere. And you're like, why am I thinking about this person? Why are they on my mind? Okay, and with the death card, Virg, I feel like there's certain things that you thought you got over, <laughs> but they really do come up a lot. And I feel like that kind of, that really does bother you. Yeah, okay, Page of Pentacles with the um, Eight of Swords here. So you do get into your head about it. Okay, but I feel like you're like really, really firm on doing something new, being with someone new. Virg. I really feel like you're trying your best to walk away from this past thing. Okay, let's get more. Why is the five of cups here? Yeah, <laughs> the devil. Okay, you could have felt like you were kind of negatively attached to that person, nine of pentacles energy. And you're like, listen, I just want to sit in my big sheet energy and <laughs> just be in the garden, chill, ground myself some super zen energy because this person was not doing it. Okay, because with that devil there, I feel like there was a lot of uh, attraction, but there also could have been a lot of lust. Okay, so give me more spirit. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Because I see that you try to move forward. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. The Empress. So, Virg, male or female does not matter. Shout out to my divine masculine. I feel like you really try to sit in your emperor energy or your empress energy and understanding that you're not going to take anything less than what you feel like you deserve. Okay, I feel like your self-worth, especially Virg, has increased. Again, September is like our new year. Shout out to my August Virgos as well. But it's like September is that first month of the fall. Old things are going away. There's change happening here, Virg. And I feel like this is the first time that you can really say that you're leaning into the change. Like you're not, it's almost like you're not fighting for things to stay old or stay the way they once were. You're going with the flow, Virg. You're not going against the current. You're going with it. Okay, um, and as I said that, my water bottle just popped back into place, which is funny. Um, but with this ten of, with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Six of uh, Swords, it talks about you moving forward after some sort of calamity. All right, but I feel like you still know that this is so possible for you, the Ten of Pentacles. So what is this? What is this new thing you're doing? This new passion or what is this idea that you have? Star card. Okay. So, Virg, I feel like, again, you're focused on your healing. The tower already hit. The worst of the worst is over. You don't have to worry about that. But we do have judgment, okay? And this is my card of second chances. Again, I feel like you put that in your past. However, I don't know if your person has done the same. Okay, what is this repressed emotion here? What is this spirit? Why is, okay, four of wands. Give me one more. Okay, king of wands. So here's the thing, Bird. The four of wands came out to clarify the moon card. So I feel like, again, if you're being very honest with yourself, you do think of them sometimes, but I feel like you're not 
beating yourself up because you think of them. You understand that you're human. You're not a robot. So you're going to think of someone from your past. But I feel like that doesn't stop. That doesn't keep you bound to the past, if that makes sense. Okay, and with the King of Wands clarifying the death card, I feel like there are just simply other things that you can focus on right now, right? Like the, your love life is not all consuming. You have other things going on in your life that make you feel good. Okay, and I feel like that's really where you're driving, getting your sense of joy from or appreciation. Okay, now let's pull for your person. Let's get their energy because, again, I got the Six of Cups. That is very fond feelings here and making something right because obviously something was out of whack. Something was out of balance in the past. Okay, so what is this spirit? Give me more on Virgo's person's energy. Give me more on Virgo's person's energy. Okay, we have the Six of Swords that popped out. So that's moving forward after some sort of calamity. Now, we also had the Six of Swords for you, Virg. So I feel like your person... Okay, before I say this, give me one more. <clears throat> okay, yeah. <laughs> so, Virg, um, again, I, I feel like you tried to move on, like, away from the connection. And it's like your person is trying to move toward you. Okay, so there's that confirmation with the Six of Cups. Okay, you could be dealing with a water sign. I'm also getting heavy Capricorn energy here. Um, as well as some Aquarius. Now, as you see, the Six of Swords is literally moving straight toward you, Virgo. And do you see how like your back is turned toward it? Like you're not even noticing it or you're not really embracing that. Yes, I'm sure you love this person. Yes, you miss this person, but they're not going to stop shit over here. Okay, you're going to continue to be great. Some I'm, I'm talking to some plant moms, plant dads. Somebody's got a green thumb here. But overall, Virg, you see that your presence makes things better. Okay, maybe at work, you're at home life, and you're not really so consumed with what's not working you're focusing on your strengths and you're playing to those <clears throat> okay give me more here spirit what is the nine of pentacles how is this person coming toward the virgo what is this oh my god look at this six of cups and that came out in the pre-shuffle okay so we got the six of cups on the board twice <clears throat> excuse me Virg. <clears throat> i was doing a lot i was doing a lot okay over the uh, labor day weekend <laughs> but moving on six of cups now this is definitely confirming that um that reconciliation energy here virgo something about the month of december could also be significant in some way and for some reason i don't feel like it's a birthday okay i feel like something significant occurred in that month which is a while ago at this point but um Again, with the Six of Cups, they're moving toward you. They're thinking of you, Virgo. And I feel like this is somebody who could be silent right now, right? You might not have heard from them. You guys might not be on the best accord here. Okay, so give me more, Spirit. Give me more. What is this? Because another thing, while you were in that Ten of Pentacles energy, Virg, or knowing that you're going to get your Ten of Pentacles regardless, it's almost like your person felt as though that's only possible with you. Okay, to only have that level of stability. It seems like you held the key to that. Because they're looking at you as the nine and you had the ten of pentacles here. Whereas you guys definitely made some, it looks like you guys took some steps back for sure. Okay, give me more spirit. Give me more of this person's energy. Okay, chariot. There's that Cancerian energy. Um, So there's that confirmation for some of you guys. But the chariot is coming to let you know, listen, I'm trying to push forward. I want to move forward. I know. Some nonsense happened. And Virg, I feel like this person could really appeal to the side of you that did want this to heal. Because you're like, there's this part of you like, okay, the worst already happened. We could essentially try. But I don't know, Virg, if you're going to go for it. Okay, again, with this chariot, this person could be trying to come in, Virg, in a more passionate way. And, and really trying to meet your needs, whereas they didn't before. I feel like this person really, really had a lot of work to do, and it took them a while to get to this point of, like, really having the courage to even come toward you, okay? Come toward you in a, in a what I should say, in a more, um, like, exclusive energy, like, where they're actually really telling you how they feel. They're actually being open. Okay, there's that star card as I split the deck, and here's your star card. So, yeah, that's that confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. So, I feel like we're, you're going to see a different side of this person where they really might want to heal this connection. Give me more here, Spirit. What are they going toward? What are they moving toward? Okay, Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Justice. Okay, so Virgo, some of, uh, some of your partners or whoever this person is, situationship person, are seeing you as somebody who is just sitting in your own energy. Okay, I feel like you're confident at this time. You're very attractive. You have suitors around you and you know that Virg. like you know you are beautiful or you know that you're handsome and i feel like you know what you are worth and what you deserve 
Okay, and I feel like your person is seeing that too. So that's why they have this uh, justice coming out of this hangman position, right? So there's definitely this energy with you guys where they have to balance the connection out. Again, I don't know how it was off balance. We did get that devil card. It could have been codependent in some ways or some level of, of toxicity. But I feel like this person knows that there's, there's a level of balance required if they want to move forward with you the way that they feel like would really get you back in. But again, I'm getting silent energy. So I don't think you know this. Okay, give me another one to get. What is this? What is this energy here? So they're seeing Virgo is very beautiful, attractive. Virgo, this person could have also found out, because um, remember I said you might have tried somebody else out, all right, or, or really seen like what else is out there, but perhaps that didn't really, you know, work and now you're just focusing on yourself. But I feel like this person could have could know that too, right? They could know that somebody else wants you or other people are finding you attractive. And I feel like that's also stressing them out, okay? Because the devil card could also represent some form of jealousy, but with the seven of pentacles here, I feel like your person is taking this time or taking this moment to sit back and reassess, right? They're trying to see, okay, is this really a situation that's growing? Can I give more? Where can I give more? Really seeing where it's best for their efforts to be put, where it's best for their efforts to be put in, okay, with that seven of pentacles energy. Now with the king of swords, they, yeah, they need to leave that right on in the past because being in the king of swords, the queen of swords position is not going to entice you to lean into them. All right. And I feel like that's that was the damn problem in the first place. They weren't really showing up emotionally as you wanted. OK, and I can see that here. Bird. This person was not showing up emotionally. OK. All right. Give me more spirit. Give me more on how this person is viewing the Virgo at this time. Give me more on how this person is viewing. OK, five of wands. So. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> I'm definitely getting this energy, Virg, where this person is really thinking about you. They're thinking about the past and also a past fight you guys could have had. Okay, five of wands energy. You guys weren't really listening to each other. It didn't have to be like an overt, like yelling match, but it does feel like there are some conflicting beliefs that you guys have here with this five of wands energy. Now, the five of wands could also represent some sort of interference. So something could be getting in the way of the connection as well. And that could be anything from work life to certain stressors, family life, anything that was stopping this uh, connection from progressing. Now, I also feel like Virg, this person could feel really like, um, okay, give me one more before I say this. What is this spirit? Okay. And this is why they could be silent. So with the strength card coming out, Virgo, this person could really be feeling like it's difficult for them to come toward you, hence why things have been silent. They've been thinking about it, trying to move forward. But it's almost like they don't know quite what to expect from this connection. All right, I feel like they feel very highly of you, very highly of the connection, but they know it comes with, and I want to say the word unique, all right? It comes with a unique set of issues. I don't know why I just got that, but um, this person might have a very difficult time dealing with emotions or opening up. So to come toward you, they would have to address those things and I think them having such difficulty doing that is why they don't or why it's been taking so long. Okay, because with the strength card, I do feel this energy where they felt the strength of the connection. Okay, there's no if, ands, or buts about that. They definitely felt the strength of the connection. But there's also this part of them that's very like meek and quiet and they're not really allowing themselves to be heard. And I feel like that's a big part of the problem here. Okay, give me more spirit. Give me more on this person's energy toward the Virgo. What else do we have? Okay. <clears throat> so the first card that came out was healing family issues. And I did talk a bit about interference. Okay. And we also have separation. So obviously you guys have been separated or haven't been on good terms. All right. This uh, shadow period could be really weird or, or cause weird things to be going on inside connections, revisiting old things, old wounds. Now we also have religious factors. Now, this person could be very religious. I'm getting like a Muslim energy here. Um, does not have to be. But this could also talk about, Berg, how this person continues to think about you. I feel like this person could have even like, um, like butt dialed you. I don't know why I'm getting that or thought about calling you and hung up really quickly. I just saw that energy here. Okay, but we also have at the bottom of the deck, new love. So I'm getting from both of you guys trying to move past it. But it seems like, Berg, to be honest, you're further along moving past it than they are. There's still this level of reconciliation that I feel like that they really, that their heart desires, honestly. Okay, give me more here, spirit. Give me more in this person's energy. 
Okay, yeah. We have true love. This is a is the romance of a lifetime. So I definitely feel like this person feels as though you're somebody that they really did connect with and it's stressful for them because they don't have you right now. All right, you guys are not on the same accord. You guys are not on good terms. Okay. All right, so soulmate card came out. Guess this is a soulmate. And we also have pay attention to the red flag. So I feel like, again, your person kind of feeling like mm, a little bit apprehensive about coming in because of things that have gone on in the past. But yet with the soulmate card, they're very conflicted because they know there's something very, very meaningful about this connection. So very, I'm about to go into the extended and I want to get this person's next steps. Okay, how are they going to come toward you? What are they planning to do next? As well as any of their intentions, Virg. So if you are interested in that, everything will be down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute.